to the challenge on the minds of many parents across the country and right here, of course, in our area as school districts shut down for even longer. Our Hannah McKenzie live in Sugarland now outside one of the schools affected by the closures. Hannah. Jacob, I am here outside Clemens High School, and you can see it is empty here, obviously because of the time, but this high school and lots of them, including elementaries, middle schools, you name it, around our area will be looking like this no matter what the time is for the next month at least. A week-long spring break turning into a month without school for students around the Houston area. The Houston Independent School District supports the nation's need to flatten the curve of the COVID-19 pandemic. HISD, the largest school district in Texas, announcing Monday they won't reopen until mid-April. They extend district-wide closure through Friday. Um, April 10th. That's a really, really long time. Parents now scrambling to keep kids busy and on track. Well, they'll de definitely have to, to play catch up, and I'm sure their school's going to uh, email them assignments and whatnot. HISD officials will meet April 6th to determine whether a longer closure is necessary, keeping students on edge. It's kind of frustrating to not know what's really happening. Fort Bend and Katy ISDs also extending their district-wide closures until April 13th. And as an educator, I do feel like uh, the districts are making the right decision in keeping the kids out. But uh, in terms of providing education to the students, I'm trying to figure out how logistically that's going to work. STAR, SAT, and ACT testing all canceled. A staggering thought for those with their sights set on college. And he's going to need all those scores, you know, right now. They, the, the grades that he makes in 11th grade will be used to apply for, for colleges. They don't use the information for next year. They use it for this year. All three districts advising parents to look out for further instruction regarding online learning. Those eager to get back in the classroom, taking matters into their own hands. Let's go online and search math worksheets that we do, like financial literacy and multiplication and long division and stuff like that. More than two dozen school districts around the area have expanded their closures. We've got a full list of those schools and the dates that they are scheduled to return to class on our website, click2houston.com. Reporting live in Fort Bend County, Hannah McKenzie, KPRC Channel 2 News. Thank you, Hannah.